good afternoon friends how are you all i hope you have you had a good lunch so first tell me what did you eat for today <clears throat> what did you eat for today then i will start teaching first you have to tell me what did you have for lunch okay so we have to start today insurance claim today's topic is very interesting it is called insurance claim so less accounting more calculations today this is a highly tested topic in your exam and uh, it will require a lot of concentration but it is a very easy chapter although it will require a lot of calculation and dedication but from exam point of view this is a very easy topic and you can e easily score about 8 to 10 marks so one mr satish has it in dal dhru tiwari kheer puri and another tiwari tremkam tiwari dal bhat very good hopefully you will remain awake for next 2 hours after eating so much dal bhat okay <clears throat> so let us discuss insurance claim do you know what is insurance please suggest me your views nowadays on tv there is a person who comes every day and says have you purchased policy okay for only 400 rupees right yes so what is insurance insurance is fill in the blanks insurance is <clears throat> insurance is a kind of protection insurance is a kind of protection against future losses <clears throat> sumit has written aloo paratha very good insurance is a kind of protection against future losses <clears throat> when case of businesses there are some losses for abnormal reasons like for example there can be a loss due to fire there can be a loss due to fire possible or not you go down where the stock is kept you can lose the value of those stock due to fire and then there can be theft somebody may steal goods then there can be burglary also somebody can break the door at night okay at night when you are watching netflix somebody will go to your store break the lock break the shutter break the wall enter and he will loot all your belongings store cash sometimes there can be loss due to strike there can be loss due to natural disaster like earthquake tsunami heavy rain heavy rain in many states nowadays you have heavy rains flood okay <clears throat> this can result into losses do you mean to say if there are so much of risk we should not do business yes or no if there is so much of risk in doing business it is better to shut down the business and do some job right true or false if you have so much risk fire theft burglary strike natural disaster one more thing i forgot to write terrorist attacks also so terrorist may enter your shop and shut down and shoot down everybody first they will shut down and then they will shoot down 
so these are the risk involved oh my god i am going back i will not do any profession or business there is so much risk bye bye so i am now not there in your class i am out there is so much of risk so <clears throat> risk will be there but you can protect yourself from the risk by using insurance cover by using insurance cover so that is why there are so many insurance companies in india which are providing you protection against future losses that can happen due to abnormal reasons like fire flood earthquake terrorist attack etc so what is insurance contract insurance contract is a contract of insurance look into your notes first few paragraphs insurance contract is a contract of insurance to indemnify the loss suffered by the insured due to specified cause within a specified period so many words they have used there is an entity called insurer and there is a party called insured insured pays insurance premium insured pays insurance premium insurer provides protection insurer provides protection insurance provides protection insurer says you don't worry if there is a loss i will compensate you but then i need some charges for that that charge is called insurance premium in the insurance policy this is a document what is a insurance policy it is a document specifying specifying terms and conditions t and c policy is a document specifying terms and condition what is written in the policy what type of risk is covered what type of risk is covered that is mentioned in the policy then the policy will specify the specified amount which is called policy amount that is they are covering the loss to what extent then they will mention about period that this policy is valid from this date to this date and if the loss occurs due to the reason specified in the policy during the period specified in the policy the insurance company will compensate you for the loss that is the benefit of using the insurance policy <clears throat> a party who undertakes to indemnify the loss is called insurer the one who takes premium and gives you protection against future losses due to specified reasons that party is called insurer <clears throat> and the party whose interest is protected is called <clears throat> insured the one whose interest is protected is called insured who will pay premium to whom insured pays premium to insurer insured pays premium to insurer because the insurer provides him protection so premium is the consideration for getting the con uh, uh, protection premium is <coughs> consideration for getting the protection you pay the premium and you are protected from losses and the document which contains terms and condition of the insurance contract it is called policy so all important words underline policy insured insurer contract of insurance <clears throat> so i am going to ask you a question 
प्लीज आंसर लिटिल फास्ट एक्स वाई जेड लिमिटेड इज द ओनर जी आई सी इज द इंश्योरेंस कंपनी हु इज इंश्योर एंड हु इज इंश्योर्ड हु इज इंश्योर एंड हु इज इंश्योर्ड आउट ऑफ द टू कम ऑन लिटिल फास्ट हु इज इंश्योर हेयर who is insurer here and who is insured here so the answer is xyz limited the owner he is insured and gic the insurance company is insurer who will pay premium to whom insured will pay premium to insurer what insurance will do insurer will provide protection insurer will provide protection against specified losses insurer will provide protection against specified losses so following students have given right answer ध्रुव तिवारी संकेत जैन अनदर तिवारी चेतन जडेजा पवार चौरसिया पंचारिया ज्योति झा कीर्ति दिस पीपल हैव गिवन करेक्ट आंसर वेरी गुड आई वॉज जस्ट चेकिंग वेदर यू आर अवेक और नॉट यू आर फाउंड टू बी अवेक दैट्स गुड अंडर दी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑफ इंश्योरेंस अंडर दी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑफ इंश्योरेंस insurer settles the claim on the basis of actual loss or the amount of policy whichever is less actual loss amount of policy whichever is less suppose you have taken car or you have insured your car you have insured your car policy amount is 40 lakhs policy amount 40 lakh and then the car met with an accident due to which there was a loss of 15 lakh how much insurance company will pay you how much insurance company will pay you 40 lakh or 15 lakh 40 lakh or 15 lakh lower of the two so the insurance company will pay you 15 lakh insurance company will pay you 15 lakh okay we'll change the example suppose policy amount is 40 lakh suppose policy amount is 40 lakh and the loss is 45 lakh the loss is 45 lakh so tanya is right the loss is 45 lakh how much is the insurance claim you will recover from insurance company how much is insurance claim you will recover from insurance company in this example the answer will be 40 lakh so this is usually what happens usually policy amount or actual loss whichever is lower the maximum liability of the insurance company cannot exceed the policy amount see this example again policy amount is 40 lakh loss is 45 lakh so the maximum amount of claim can be 40 lakh rupees only when you have taken a policy of 40 lakh insurance company of course is not going to pay you more than 40 lakh because they have charged premium also accordingly they have charged premium also accordingly example below printed in your book policy amount is 20000 actual loss is 16000 so how much will you get the claim will be 16000 rupees only but next paragraph talks about under insurance what do you mean by under insurance under insurance means policy amount is less than the value of the asset the policy amount is less than the value of the asset that is called under insurance if the amount of policy 
is less than the value of the asset insured, then it is called under insurance. Then it is called under insurance. For example, stock value is 40 lakh. Stock value is 40 lakh. And the policy taken by the insured person is only for 20 lakh. So this is an example of under insurance. So usually in case of under insurance, there is an average clause. There is an average clause. Insurance company says when your stock value is 40 lakh, this is 40 lakh, you have taken policy for only 20 lakh. It means you are willing to accept the loss for 20 lakh yourself. This portion is insured 20 lakh. This risk is borne by the owner. This means the owner is willing to take the risk. Now, in this example, what will happen? Suppose, suppose your actual loss, your stock is 40 lakh, there was a fire and the stock of 20 lakh rupees stock of 20 lakh rupees were lost actual loss is 20 lakh what will be the claim amount if average clause is applicable what will be the claim amount if average clause is applicable what will be the claim amount now normally what will happen you will say policy amount is 20 lakh actual loss is also 20 lakh so normally your answer would have been 20 lakh but not this time average clause means only pro rata claim will be settled only pro rata because it means out of 40 lakh 20 lakh was the risk taken by insurance company and 20 lakh risk is taken by the owner so why don't we also share the loss in that ratio also? So the answer for this question will be policy amount upon value of asset, policy amount upon value of asset into actual loss. Policy amount is 20 lakh, value of the asset is 40 lakh into 20 lakh so that gives you 10 lakhs that gives you 10 lakh this is called average clause this is called average clause when the policy amount taken is less than the value of the stock so there are two questions which will come to my mind first question is why will an insured person take a policy of a lower amount why will an insurance uh, why will an insured why will the insured take a policy of a lower amount give me the answer why will insured take the policy of a lower amount when the value of the stock in the godown was 40 lakh why are you taking policy of 20 lakh so the answer of that question is to save premium to save premium you may <clears throat> under insure your asset to save premium but insurance company is also smart when it comes to sharing the loss now the insurance company says we will also share the loss proportionately if you are smart we are smarter so when the loss will come we will also share the loss proportionately and that is the logic of average clause. That is the logic of average clause. So the formula to be used is, this is one important formula. In case of under insurance, first is there must be under insurance. And second is average clause is applicable. 
एवरेज क्लॉज इज एप्लीकेबल इफ दिस टू कंडीशन आर सेटिस्फाइड देन अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला अदरवाइज योर जनरल फॉर्मूला विल अप्लाई पॉलिसी अमाउंट और एक्चुअल लॉस विच एवर इज लोअर पॉलिसी अमाउंट और एक्चुअल लॉस विच एवर इज लोअर जनरली बट इन केस ऑफ अंडर इंश्योरेंस एंड द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज एवरेज क्लॉज विल बी एप्लीकेबल इन केस ऑफ अंडर इंश्योरेंस देन दिस फॉर्मूला विल अप्लाई सो दिस विल ऑटोमेटिकली गिव यू प्रपोर्शनेट वैल्यू दिस विल ऑटोमेटिकली गिव यू प्रपोर्शन वैल्यू बिकॉज पॉलिसी अमाउंट if it is lower than the value of the asset your claim will become proportionate your claim will become proportionate nikita is right now solve this question kindly solve this question the value of the stock is 20000 salvage 5000 salvage means the stock saved saved that means this stock could be saved from the fire okay so the moment fire happened all of you will enter and try to bring out whatever stock you can so out of the total stock of 20000 they could save 5000 so what is your loss your loss is 20000 minus stock which could be saved 5000 so net loss is 15000 policy amount is 16000 so the question will arise whether there is under insurance whether there is under insurance whether there is under insurance the answer is yes because policy amount is less than the value of the stock so if there is under insurance the amount of claim will be pro rata policy amount 16000 divided by asset value 20000 into actual loss actual loss is 20 minus 5 15000 so the answer is 12000 most of you got it right 12000 so this is the problem of under insurance what about over insurance what about over insurance insurer do not recognize over insurance that means suppose in the same question suppose in the same question if the value of the stock is 20000 suppose in the same question salvage is 5000 and policy amount is 25000 so this is a case of over insurance this is a case of over insurance because your policy amount is more than the value of the stock if the policy amount is more than the value of stock then what is the answer what will be the claim amount in this question please guess this is not printed in the book this is i am asking you what is your claim amount value of the stock salvage value 5000 policy amount is 25000 so the answer is it will be equal to lower of the two lower of actual loss actual loss is 20k minus 5k is 15000 whereas the policy amount is 25000 so the answer is insurance company will accept the claim of 15000 rupees it is treated like full insurance it will not pay you more than 15000 if you apply proportionate formula here somebody applies proportionate formula policy amount divided by this is wrong don't do this into actual loss your claim amount becomes more than the actual loss that is not possible so under insurance 
average clause is usually applied and if average clause is applicable pro rata loss will be treated as your claim but in case of over insurance in case of over insurance the formula is lower of actual loss or the policy amount chetan is right jadeja is right now next is claim for loss of stock paragraph number next claim for loss of stock in this chapter most of the questions will be finding the claim for loss of stock sometimes some other asset can also be there okay using this this chapter with the help of this chapter what is the objective of the institute the objective of the institute is to test your fundamental knowledge of accounts especially about trading account especially about trading account whether you can understand the trading account properly or not can you find out closing stock from a set of given data like opening stock purchase sale wages gross profit etc so the objective may not be to test your knowledge of insurance company the objective may be to test your knowledge of basics of accounting specially related to stock okay so what i'll do i will guide you how to find out the value of the closing stock why we need to find out the value of closing stock because the question will say calculate the value of the stock lost in fire 90% of the question says the go down of mr fireproof was caught in a fire stock was lost calculate the insurance claim okay <clears throat> all of you are masters of account true or false all of you are masters of account you have reached till intermediate stage means it is as good as getting a masters degree from any university now in your trial balance or in your books of account if you maintain books of account you will have falling figures available opening balance of stock is available from your books of account purchase is available sale is available wages is available carriage inward is available manufacturing expense is available but what is not available from your books of account question is what is not available from books of account books of account will not show you the stock in hand it is calculated at the end of the year physically first it is counted and then it is valued and then it is recorded in the books of account then it is recorded in the books of account is it right so therefore we need to ascertain the amount of closing stock from a set of given data that is my task ankit is right closing stock is not available from books of account only at the end of the year we need to ascertain it by valuing the closing stock as per accounting standard 2 so books of account contains accounts of asset but it does not contain closing stock the value of the stock on the hand on the date of fire has to be estimated so how are are you going to calculate it there are two ways you can do it two methods one is by preparing a statement like this prepare a numerical statement what is this statement you will take opening stock add purchase add wages add manufacturing expense or any direct expense carriage inward also you can add less cost of goods sold less cost of goods sold less cost of goods sold means sales minus gross profit so this is what we have this is what we have sold 
so the remaining amount should give you closing stock remaining amount should give you closing stock instead of this if you are comfortable if you are comfortable you can prepare a memorandum trading account you can prepare a second method method 2 by simply preparing a memorandum trading account i will use this method to more often we will use method to more often sir why will you use method to more often ask me why will you use method to more often it is easy most of us are comfortable with trading account so in trading account debit side we have opening stock purchase less purchase return to any direct expense given in the question to any direct expense like wages carriage inward manufacturing expense okay and on the credit side i will write sales minus sales return net sale then goods withdrawn by proprietor or any such outflow of goods will be written on the credit side one more thing you write down by goods distributed as free samples by goods with customer goods lying with customer by goods sent on consignment these are the items we will write on the credit side so what is debit side debit side is inflow debit side represents inflow and credit side represents outflow then this is the sales figure sales i will calculate gross profit using sales data i will calculate gross profit using sales data so how is gross profit calculated gp ratio into net sales what is gp gross profit ratio we will see what is the gross profit ratio of the company based on last year data or last two or three years data we will check what is the gross profit ratio of the company so most of the companies have a certain gross profit margin on their sales either it will be given to you or you will be given last year data from the last year data you have to find out the gp ratio of the company so you got gp ratio all these figures which are given in the question you will write only what is missing only that closing stock on credit side would be missing only the closing stock on the credit side of the trading account is missing so find out by closing stock as a balancing figure so this is the value of your stock that is lying with you on the date of fire is it right so this method is easy any query on this till now any query on memorandum trading account one important thing i need to tell you all these items will be at cost except the sales figure this will be at cost at cost at cost at cost at cost goods with customer will be at cost goods with consignee at cost so the only thing which is not at cost is the sales figure and that is why we are removing the gross profit from the sale so the net effect of these two if i look at it carefully sales minus gross profit is cost of goods sold so if all figures in this trading account is at cost the closing stock will also be at cost 
so closing stock becomes the balancing figure and this is how you will find out the claim for loss of stock next paragraph in the books of account if the books of account are saved good news books of accounts are saved there is a fire in the factory there may be a fire in the godown but your books of accounts are kept in a different location so books of accounts are saved ah thank god say thank you god you are so kind even though my stock is destroyed by fire but my books of account are saved so what is the benefit you will have all the data available opening stock purchase sale any direct expense so you can calculate the gross profit of previous year you can use that ratio and find out the current year gross profit okay second point gross profit has to be ascertained based on the average rate of gross profit earned in the previous year adjusted for any known changes so what they are saying gp ratio is based on average gp ratio is based on average gp ratio for example for example they may give you 2021 gp ratio is 20% 2022 gp ratio is 21% 2022 23 it is 20.5% if suppose data is given in this format 20 21 22.5 my average gp ratio will be let us say 20 plus 21 plus 21.5 divided by 3 so let me check 41 plus 20.5 equal to divided by 3 so my average gp ratio is 20.5% my average gp ratio is 20.5 percent. Okay, one more example. Suppose it is given 2021, 22, 23, 24. GP ratio is like this: 20 percent, 21 percent, 22 percent, like this. Now the problem says GP ratio is based on average rate of gross profit in the previous year. adjusted for any known changes what do you see here you are finding that the trend is rising trend 20 21 22 23 so what do you think will be gp of the next year now will it be average or will it be little more than 23 what do you think what is more logical if the gp is 20 21 22 23 so in 2025 when the fire took place when there was a fire most probably gp ratio will be higher than 23 because there is an increasing trend so one person said 24 one person said more than 23 yes so it is more than 23 so that adjustment will be given to you that looking at the past trend one can assume the gp ratio of 2025 is 24% or something so they will mention in the problem but it not it won't be wise to take average in this case another example 2021 25% Two thousand twenty-two, twenty-four percent. Two thousand twenty-three, twenty-three percent, twenty-two percent, twenty-one percent. So what do you see? It is a decreasing trend. It is a decreasing trend. Don't use average in this case. Rather, you see what is the most likely GP ratio. 
which is going to be there in the year in which fire took place and we can say maybe it will be closer to 21 or 20 percent maybe little less than 21 percent so in this case don't use average unless the institute insist for this purpose it is necessary to prepare trading account of previous year based on actual data next point gp ratio formula gp ratio is gross profit upon sales into 100 gross profit upon sales into 100 is called gp ratio next possibility oh my god books of accounts are also destroyed in fire so what this businessman will do he will cry books of accounts are also damaged or destroyed okay in fire so now you have to estimate opening stock purchase sale wages etc will be collected from the incidental record will be collected from other records other records for example you may be filing gst return in that gst return you have sales data purchase data stock data you are filing income tax return from income tax return also you will get some stock related data then you will call your daters and ask your dater please tell me how much amount i have to recover from you you have to call your creditor ask them how much amount i have to pay to you so this way you'll have to sit down and collect data from multiple sources and prepare the trading account okay but as a student you don't worry sir why we should not be worried you should smile why because the institute will give you all data and ten -ten. institute will give you all data and therefore you just have to prepare trading account properly when you will become a businessman or a professional and then suppose it should not happen but suppose there is a fire then this paragraph you will apply in your office or in your company not today today institute will give you data following are the important points what are the important point ratio will be based on average of last three four five years which will be given to you in the problem but suppose there is a consistent falling trend or a consistent rising trend this is falling trend gp ratio is falling every year 25 24 23 21 20 or it is a rising trend 20 21 22 23 24 25 then it is not wise to take average okay it will not be wise to take average rather than you will see what is the most likely gross profit ratio in the current year you will see what is the most likely gp ratio in the current year and that will be taken again it should not be a problem for the student because this is given in the exam this will be given to you what gp ratio you have to take similarly if there is a consistent rise in the gp ratio insurance company will admit a claim based on gp consistent with the increasing trend that means if your gp ratio is increasing every year insurance company will admit a higher gp ratio insurance company will admit a higher gp ratio paragraph number roman 2 since previous year accounts are prepared on the basis of actual happening or prevailing practices the ratio thus ascertained may not be appropriate for the current year this is because abnormal situations 
which duly inflate or the deflate the gross profit for example under valuation of stock what is this this is very important last year suppose this is last year trading account this is trading account of last year you have opening stock you have purchase you have sales you have closing stock and you have gross profit here using this gross profit and this sales we calculate gp ratio and assume that this gp ratio will continue assume that this gp ratio will continue but there is a problem suppose last year closing stock was not at cost was not at cost so this gp ratio is wrong similarly there may be some sales which are not at normal price which are not at normal price you might have given some additional discount to some customer some purchases may not be at normal price there was a shortage of some good and you have to purchase it at a higher price therefore blindly we will not take this gp ratio when i am not going to blindly take the gp ratio of the previous year when any of these items of the previous year are not at normal value are not at normal price or normal cost then i need to make adjustment to the gross profit ratio because if i directly take based on last year and last year some transaction were not at market value or at cost that means the last year gp is not fully correct so i need to make adjustment in the last year figure to arrive at a normal gp ratio in this case figures of previous year will be adjusted to arrive at gross profit which is normal so underline this is the theme of this chapter the institute is going to test you on this ici will test you they will give you last year data and you need to find out the gp ratio but last year some figures will not be at normal values like they will give you 4 lakh rupees sales but this may include 5000 sale which is below normal rate which is below normal rate they may give you some closing stock out of this some may be at normal cost some may be at abnormal values because they are partly damaged or obsolete so i need to adjust the figures of sales purchase closing stock opening stock to arrive at normal gp to arrive at normal gp okay we'll do it in a problem very soon after just few lines there is a question number 1 2 3 this applies to other type of abnormalities also so your institute is going to give you various questions in some problem some sales will be at concessional price there can be some abnormal loss due to damage obsolescence some sale may be at a higher price also some sale may be below cost also oh my god there can be some write off of the closing stock also so i need to make adjustments and this is what they are going to test so in this case what is the method the method is to you divide your trading account into three columns how do i divide my trading account into three columns one column will be normal where i am going to record all 
items which are at normal prices. So all items which are at normal values, whether it is opening stock, purchase, sale or closing stock, they are, those items I am going to put in the normal column. Okay. And those items which are not at normal prices, whether it is opening stock, purchase, sale, closing stock, those items I am going to put it in the abnormal column. So what will happen? I will get normal GP here and I will get normal sales here. Using normal sales and normal GP, I will be able to get normal GP ratio. And this normal GP ratio, I am going to apply in the year of fire for all the normal sales, normal GP ratio taken from previous year is applied in the year of fire to get the normal gross profit on normal sales and then I can calculate the closing stock. Abnormal items put in abnormal column. Abnormal column will just help us to segregate the total item into normal and abnormal. So how to do it? Coming soon, one question will come and we will learn. Just give me 5-10 seconds more because when you will see the example, you will understand better. Point number 3, very important write down. Change in sale price and cost price level during current year over previous year should be carefully adjusted to reveal the correct amount of gross profit. Understand, last year you will participate. Selling price was 100 rupees. Last year cost price was 80 rupees. So last year GP was 20 and last year GP ratio is 20 divided by 100 is 20 percent. Okay, this year, current year, now the question says selling price has increased by 20 percent. Question says in the current year, selling price has increased by 20 percent. So I will take sales as 120. And they are saying cost price has increased by 5%. Cost price has increased by 5%. So 80 plus 5%. 80 plus 5%, 84. So my GP will be 120 minus 84, 36. And my GP ratio will be 36 divided by 120. Gross profit divided by selling price into 100. So tell me GP ratio will become 30 percent this time. Oh, GP ratio will become 30 percent. So do we have such questions in our book? Yes. In our book we have such questions which will make you change the GP ratio for the current year because current year selling price might have changed current year cost of goods might have changed. So a student will have to recalculate the GP ratio from the for the current year taking previous year data. So most of you are right 30 percent. Once you have determined what is your closing stock then you find out the actual loss. Actual loss is equal to Stock on the date of fire, stock on the date of fire minus salvage, salvage means stock saved. Like if you see there is a fire, people are going to bring or take out whatever they can. So those stock which they have taken out from the godown which were saved is called salvage. 
and that is called actual loss a b c a minus b is actual loss point number next previous year gross profit ratio if expressed as a percentage on cost price the same must relate to sales as gross profit is earned on sale what does that mean solve this example my question is if gp ratio is 25% of cost price what is the gp ratio as a percentage of selling price please answer if gp ratio is 25% of cost price gp ratio as a percentage of sale is equal to gp ratio as a percentage of sale is equal to so this will be 20% of selling price okay how understand cost is 100 rupees gross profit is 125 so selling price is 125 gp ratio will be 25 by 125 into 100 and that is equal to 20% of selling price sachi kumar gorav sonam right okay answer one more question if you are given gp ratio is 33.33% of the cost price 33.33% of the cost price what is the gp ratio as a percentage of selling price what is the gp ratio as a percentage of selling price come on answer gp ratio as a percentage of selling price so the answer would be 25% of selling price so my guideline here will be read the problem carefully and see what is given if it is given 25% of cost price you will take it as 20% of selling price if it is given 33.33% of cost price you will take it as 25% of selling price okay 1/4 of cost is 1/5 of selling price 1/3 of cost is 1/4 of selling price that is what is easy to understand because the institute can play trick with you okay institute can play tricks with you and then the student will have to be careful so wordings of the question we have to read carefully and now good news we are going to solve many questions on insurance claim for loss of stock okay so let us begin with question number 1 all of you please take out your notebook or take out your book first and you will find their question number 1 on 13 july 2006 a fire occurred oh a fire occurred and partly destroyed the stock of goods and the furniture two items have been destroyed goods and furniture of fair deal corporation stock having a cost of rupees 1000 and furniture of rupees 600 has been salvaged so this is salvage value given to you stock 1000 saved furniture 600 rupees saved so when you will calculate the actual loss deduct salvage value of the stock minus salvage is actual loss value of furniture minus salvage is actual loss on furniture now they are saying the stock and furniture was insured what is the policy amount this is the policy amount for stock 
and this is the policy amount of furniture. Now read further. There is one more table below. The following particulars could be obtained from the books and records saved. So what they are able to obtain from their books of account, they are able to obtain that the balance as per last balance sheet, last year closing balance is given. Last year closing balance is 31st Ma on 31st March 2002, stock 12,000, furniture 3,000, creditor, make it creditor, creditors for goods, creditors for goods 1,000. Then this is the current year transaction from beginning of the year till the date of fire. 13 July is date of fire. Payment made to creditor 6200. Return outward means purchase return. Return outward means purchase return. Return inward means sales return. And this is sale. So from this data you have to find out the closing stock. From this much data you have to find out the closing stock. And then you are given unpaid creditor. Means amount payable to creditor on 13 July. All sales were made at a profit of 33 one third percent on selling price. So GP ratio is already given to you and GP ratio is on sales they have given. There was no other purchase and sale. There was no other purchase and sale. Last paragraph. You are required to draw a statement of claim for loss of stock and furniture based on the above facts based on the above facts. So how much will be claim for one stock and how much will be claim for furniture. Okay. So I am going to ask you one question. Try yourself first. What is the value of closing stock on 13th July 2006 that is the day fire took place what was the closing stock in your godown or in your warehouse please answer do not give me any other figure just give me what was the value of stock on the date of fire 30 seconds will be allowed to you to try your luck Try your luck, 30 seconds will be allowed to you to give me the stock figure. Let the whole world know today how intelligent you are. Thirty seconds have started. Thirty seconds have started. Please try. Okay, anybody wants to answer? Anybody who wants to answer? Please let me know your answer. What is closing stock on the date of fire giving you a chance to perform?
क्लोजिंग स्टॉक वन स्टूडेंट इज सेंग टेन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड वन स्टूडेंट इज सेंग फाइव थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड वन स्टूडेंट इज सेंग वन थाउजेंड रुपीज ओनली ओ माय गॉड दिस इज अमेजिंग एवरी स्टूडेंट हैज इज ओन आंसर एवरी स्टूडेंट हैज इज ओन आंसर फाइव थाउजेंड फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड फिफ्टी वन स्टूडेंट इज सिंग थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन फिफ्टी वन इज सिंग थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन फिफ्टी वन थाउजेंड मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन सो मेनी आंसर्स हैव बीन गिवन बाय आवर intelligent student okay anybody else who wants to try other than these numbers other than 5000 400 10800 1000 3750 you people are really amazing okay Eleven three hundred. One gentleman is saying eleven three hundred. Oh, was it so difficult that the whole batch is giving different answers? One person is saying four nine double zero. No problem. So first, I will solve for furniture. Furniture part is easy. Please write down. Insurance claim for loss of furniture. Insurance claim for loss of furniture. Furniture is easy. The book value of the furniture. The book value of the furniture is how much? Three thousand. Book value of the furniture is three thousand. book value of the furniture is 3000 salvage furniture you could save 600 rupees therefore actual loss actual loss of furniture is 2400 actual loss of furniture is 2400 now you see in case of furniture This is the value of furniture, but the policy amount is two thousand five hundred. Understand, policy amount for furniture is two five double zero, and value of furniture is three thousand. Therefore, there is under insurance. Write down. Therefore, there is under insurance. Therefore, there is under insurance. First, you write this much. Policy amount is two five double zero. Value of furniture is three thousand. Therefore, there is under insurance. Hence, average clause. is applicable hence average clause is applicable so now write down amount of claim is equal to amount of claim is equal to policy amount upon value of asset into actual loss policy amount upon value of asset into actual loss policy amount 2500 upon 3000 into actual loss 2400 so give me the answer the answer is 2000 rupees you are right so this is about furniture this is about furniture normally they don't ask about other assets but if they ask you you will follow the same logic 
if average clause is applicable same formula will apply now we will find out step 2 step 2 is for claim of stock step 2 is for claim of stock under that we will draw two accounts first first we will draw <coughs> memorandum trader trade creditor account Memorandum trade creditor account Sakshi Pawar right Shuyas right and we will draw one memorandum trading account this will help us to arrive at the closing stock ok so let us draw this to ledger first and write down whatever details are given write down whatever details are given First, you have been given stock at cost 12,000. So, that stock at cost 12,000 will be written in Memorandum Trading Account Opening Stock. Memorandum Trading Account Opening Stock. Keep the question in front of you. There is a 12,000 rupees opening stock given. Furniture is given. Furniture I will not write. Creditor for goods I will write, buy balance brought down, buy balance brought down, creditor is 1000 rupees. Then you are given transaction between 1st April to 13 July, payment to creditor for goods. So the entry will be creditor account debit to bank account, creditor account debit to bank account <coughs> 6200. Return inward, return inward entry will be creditor account debit to purchase return that is return outward and the amount is 200 rupees and you come to trading account also you write like this two purchases less return 200 inner column <clears throat> then they are saying return inward is 650 and below that sale is 11,000 so I will write buy sales 11,000 less sales return <clears throat> 650 so balance in the outer column is 10,350 and then they have given you unpaid creditor so unpaid creditor means creditor account debit side to balance carried down is 800 rupees to balance carried down is 800 this is what information was given to us so what i'll do first i will find out purchases purchases is balancing figure so who will tell me purchase figure take total of the debit side 6200 plus 200 plus 800 7200 then minus 1000 so your purchases is 6200 purchases 6200 you will transfer to memorandum trading account purchases minus purchase return 6000 in the outer column kunal is right and then to gross profit gross profit ratio is given in the question 33 1 by 3 percent of sale and sale is 10,350 10,350 so what is gross profit multiply 3450 and therefore buy closing stock balancing figure 
this will give me closing stock balancing figure. Anybody closing stock balancing figure? Come on, dear student. Closing stock balancing figure. First, take debit side total. 21,450 minus 10,350. So that is 11,100. Eleven one hundred is right. This is my closing stock on the date of fire. Then I will have to take actual loss working note. So write down next line. Claim for loss of stock. Claim for loss of stock. Next line. Value of the stock as calculated above is 11,100 less salvage salvage amount is given in first two lines of the question 1,000 so my actual loss is 10,100 10,100 write a note Policy amount is rupees fifteen thousand. Actual or value of stock, value of stock is eleven thousand one hundred. Therefore, therefore, there is full insurance therefore there is full insurance claim for loss will be claim for loss will be allowed in full claim for loss will be allowed in full that is rupees 10,100 that is rupees 10,100 now write down below summary right hand side rupees A claim for loss of furniture claim for loss of furniture 2000 calculated ab above Claim for loss of stock calculated just now 10,100. So, see total claim. How much total claim you will raise? You will raise a claim of 12,100. You will raise a claim of 12,100. Check the answer. Now the answer is over. Any query? Any query? Do you like the answer? Say yes or no. Say like, like, like. We like your answer presentation. Any other presentation is also welcome. As long as you get the same final conclusion. Okay? So those who have done will say yes, done. Then we'll go to second question. Others can start reading question number two. Others can start reading question number two. Have you done? Question number next, write down two. Question number two. The go down of Liberty supplier was destroyed by fire oh so sad i am feeling bad okay see tears in my eyes destroyed by fire on 15th april 2006 from the falling figure 
ascertain the value of goods destroyed by fire. So where is the question? This is the question. Ascertain the value of goods destroyed by fire. You just have to calculate what was the closing stock on the date of fire. Okay. So you are given some data, stock on 1st January 2005. What is the date of fire? The date of fire is 15th April, underline. And what is this stock? 1-1-2005, means it is last year. It is last year data. So I will write here last year. In this question, the uh, gross profit ratio is not given. So I will have to prepare the last year trading account to find out the GP ratio of this company. Then purchase less return this 2005 to 31st December last year. 116 to 15th March current year. Sales return last year. Sales return current year closing stock now this figure will affect last year and current year both closing stock of last year is opening stock of the current year okay next line cost price of the goods cost what is used so don't adjust taken by the proprietor for personal use and not recorded in the books. So this is the cost of goods withdrawn by owner and this is in the current year. This is in the current year. There is one problem in this whole thing. The stocks are valued at cost less 10%. So tick mark this 720 and tick mark this 480 figure. These are valued at 80% of their cost. These are valued at 80% of their cost. In order to calculate the gross profit ratio correctly, I will have to take all the stock at cost. I will have to take all the stock at cost for getting the correct GP ratio. So dear student, kindly tell me what is the cost of this stock what is the original cost of this stock 720 rupees right now it is 80 percent of its original value so come on dear student what is the original cost of this stock 720 divided by 80 percent 720 divided by 80 percent 720 divided by 80 percent you have to divide by 80 percent 720 is already after deducting 20 percent so the answer is 900 rupees kunal is right tell me what is the cost of this 480 tell me the cost of 480 tell me the cost of 480 480 divided by 80 percent 480 divided by 80 percent and that is 600 rupees. So what we will do when we are solving the question, we will take 900 rupees as opening stock and we will take 600 rupees as closing stock. Remaining figures we will take as it is. Remaining figures we will take as it is. Okay. Sanket Jain is right. Gupta Ganesh, right. Lucky Agarwal, right. Pawar, right. So what I will do? I will prepare three working notes. I will prepare three working notes and then just do whatever is given to you based on whether it is last year or current year. So first you write down heading name of this company. Liberty suppliers. Wow, what is the name? Liberty supplier. Liberty supplier. Liberty supplier. Under that write down trading account. 
ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट इज लास्ट ईयर इट इज बेस्ड ऑन एक्चुअल लास्ट ईयर इज ओवर सो इट इज बेस्ड ऑन एक्चुअल डेटा सो आई विल से ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट फॉर द पीरियड फ्रॉम फर्स्ट जनवरी टू थाउजेंड फाइव टू थर्टी वन ट्वेल्व टू थाउजेंड फाइव कीप अबाउट एट लाइन्स ब्लैंक कीप हेयर एट लाइन्स ब्लैंक इन एवरी फॉर्मेट देन राइड ऑन स्टेप टू जी पी रेशियो कीप फाइव लाइन्स ब्लैंक देन राइड ऑन स्टेप थ्री memorandum trading account because this year is not complete so i am using a word called memorandum because it is based on some estimation and this period will be from 1st january 2006 to 30 to 15th april 2006 to 15th april 2006 okay To fifteenth April two thousand six. Is the format ready now? All of you will concentrate in the question. Just put the correct figures in the correct place, and then you will be able to find out the closing stock destroyed by fire. So I hope you are ready with the format. First line stock on first January two thousand five. to opening stock in bracket 720 this stock is not properly valued it is valued at 80% of the cost so i will divide by 80% i need to bring all figures at cost to get the correct gp ratio okay kirti is ready start kirti next line is purchase less return to purchase go as per the sequence of the question purchase less return in the trading account i will write 2800 in memorandum trading account second line second line not first line first line keep blank to purchase less return to purchase less return that is uh, 2900 2900 2900 similarly write down here buy sales less return buy sales less return 4000 and in memorandum trading account next line buy sales less return next line is in memorandum trading 3200 3200 then is closing stock on 31st december 2005 so you will write here by closing stock this is also at 80% so take in bracket 480 all calculation must be shown by 60% and that is 600 rupees now this will become opening stock in memorandum trading account to opening stock 600 rupees to opening stock 600 rupees okay now in the first trading account there is uh, sorry there is one more adjustment goods withdrawn by proprietor for personal use in current year so that will come in memorandum trading account by goods withdrawn by proprietor by goods withdrawn by proprietor what is the amount 600 rupees this is already at cost no adjustment required now you come to trading account 
in trading account student will tell me what is gross profit here balancing figure anybody gross profit in trading account first format credit side total 4600 minus 900 and minus 2800 so the answer is 900 rupees check 4600 is the total yes gp ratio is gross profit upon sales into 100 900 divided by 4000 into 100 900 divided by 4000 into 100 check the answer anybody what is gp ratio 22.5% gp ratio is 22.5% what we are going to do with this gp ratio we are going to apply in memorandum trading account to gross profit to gross profit sanket jain kunal sakshi you are right 22.5% of 3200 this gp ratio 22.5% will be multiplied by this 3200 so that you will get gp of this year and how much is that that is 720 very good so the balancing figure here will be closing stock by closing stock by closing stock balancing figure who will give me the answer first by closing stock balancing figure first you take debit side total is coming to 4220 and minus 3200 and minus 600 so this is coming to 420 so closing stock on the date of fire is 420 that was your question what is the value of goods destroyed by fire therefore the conclusion is value of goods destroyed by fire is rupees 420 therefore value of goods destroyed by fire is rupees 420 mun rice chorasia 420 dhru tiwari 420 lucky agarwal 420 farhan azam 420 sakshi kirti you are also 420 tanya rajender pawar you are also 420 okay so this 420 is number not something else okay so don't feel bad question number 3 now question number 3 please come to question number 3 Jadeja is also 420. Okay, let us come to question number three. The whole stock of Ram Ratan and Company was destroyed by fire on 3rd February 2006. Oh my God! If Ram cannot protect his own stock, who can protect? So sad. no stock register was maintained oh ram you can't maintain your own stock register but the following particulars are available but the following particulars are available stock of goods on 1st january wait a minute this fire took place on 3rd february so i will make you write 
take a pencil and write this is last year data stock on 31st december this will affect current year and last year both purchase will be last year this current year purchase this is last year purchase this is current year purchase last year will go to trading account and current year will go to memorandum trading account then it says the while valuing the stock on 31st december 2005 underline 31st december 2005 means tick mark this item second line tick mark second line the value of the stock on 31st march 2005 rupees 480 was written off out of the cost price of 1080 out of cost price of 1080 okay out of cost price of 1080 so uh, what is the, where is the cost price cost price is in purchase tick mark purchase tick mark purchase because if there is something in the closing stock there must be a source also there must be a source so in this closing stock there are some stock which are not at normal price the cost was 480 but 480 cost was 1080 but 480 was written off so therefore this abnormal stock is valued at 600 rupees this abnormal stock is valued at 600 rupees so what i'll do i'll make you write something this contains two types of stock 600 rupees abnormal stock and balance as normal stock so balance will be 22530 minus 600 21930 21930 this is abnormal this is normal okay you can also take a pencil and start writing similarly this purchase has two types of purchase abnormal normal abnormal is 1080 if abnormal is 1080 then what is the normal stock 62310 minus 1080 61230 61230 okay 61230 have you done the marking then it will help you in solving the problem then says this stock was sold in january 2006 for 1050 it was sold in current year this stock was sold in the current year for 1050 which means the current year sale current year sale last item on the screen this sale has one abnormal item abnormal item whose selling price is 1050 so balance is normal sale so 35400 minus 1050 34350 is normal sale 34350 is normal sale 34350 is normal sale so for any query so what i have to do i have to divide my trading account and memorandum trading account into two columns now normal and abnormal abnormal figures are given to you normal figure we will calculate and we will calculate gp ratio on normal sale 
I have to find out the GP ratio on normal sale. That is the purpose. Have you taken a pencil and done the working that I am suggesting you? Yes. Let us come to the question now. The question says except for this item, GP ratio was uniform throughout. GP ratio was uniform throughout. One student is asking how we can understand this is abnormal because it was not at the normal price. The closing stock was written down means it was not at normal. The source of the closing stock purchase. So I will treat that as a purchase as an abnormal and when the same item is sold then also we will treat it as abnormal. So that will make your understanding easier. And once I solve it, when you will see this answer, you will get more confidence. So have some patience for 2-3 more minutes. Stock salvage 3063. Stock salvage is 3063. Stock was fully insured against fire. So there is a full insurance. If there is a full insurance, average clause is not applicable. It means average clause is NA, not applicable. You are required to find out the amount of claim for loss of stock. So claim for loss of stock we have to find out. This question has some abnormal items. There is an abnormal closing stock because that is at below the normal cost because of this there is an abnormal purchase also because if you are going to put something in closing stock you have to write something in purchase also there can't be closing stock without purchase and the same item when it is sold the same item when it is sold becomes abnormal sale also so keeping in mind three items let us first Draw this wonderful format. Write down books of Ram Ratan and Company. Books of Ram Ratan and Company. Trading account. Trading account. From 1st January 2005. From 1st January 2005 to 31-12-2005. 31-12-2005. And this time I will divide my trading account into three columns. Normal, abnormal, total. Credit side also, normal, abnormal, total. One student is asking, can abnormal closing stock be out of opening stock? Yes, abnormal stock can be out of opening stock also. So either you can adjust opening stock or you can adjust purchase. It will not make any difference to your answer. Okay. Closing stock, source can be opening stock or source can be purchase. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. It won't affect you. So we normally assume that it is out of purchase, okay, unless question says the source of closing stock is opening stock, we will assume throughout this chapter that the source of closing stock is purchase, however if specific note is given that it is out of opening stock, we will adjust it in opening stock, format is ready, below Trading account write down gross profit ratio. Keep five lines blank. Keep five lines blank. And then you write down memorandum trading account. Memorandum trading account period is 1st January 2006 to 3rd February 2006. Same format. Normal abnormal total. Come on, normal abnormal total. Very important question. Similar questions have been asked in the past exams. Today you will try more and more such questions. Is the format ready? 
once you give me the green signal that format is ready then i will be able to solve it green signal okay green signal that yes ready sir we are ready okay any query related to question number 3 will be answered only so we are now going to solve question number 3 you will start with opening stock in trading account write down trading account to opening stock this does not have any abnormal item so just take it 26580 dash 26580 then closing stock on 31st march by keep two lines blank and write by closing stock this has abnormal item so first you write in total column 22530 and it includes one abnormal item of 600 rupees 1080 was the cost but 480 was written off so this means this abnormal item is 600 rupees so do the reverse maths minus 600 you will get how much will you get 21930 21930 so this is like reverse working next in your question book third line purchases two purchases right in total column 62310 there is one purchase item which is abnormal there is one purchase item which is abnormal 1080 printed below 1080 so please deduct 1080 that will be equal to 61230 61 to 230 is right okay then the next line is this closing stock will become opening stock here to opening stock copy 21930 600 this is your opening stock and this is the same item closing stock so every time we have to do this same exercise this closing will become this opening here okay now the question is very easy then we are given in the fourth line of the question purchases which is current year two purchases two purchases this does not have any abnormal item 22410 22410 sales for 2005 last year this does not have any abnormal item last year sale does not have abnormal item 91500 91500 and buy sales current year buy sales in memorandum account last column write down first 34500 there is an abnormal sale this item this opening stock item this was sold at 1050 so this we will treat it as abnormal sale okay this we will treat it as abnormal sale because you are writing in abnormal column here so the sale of this item will also be written in abnormal column so now you do reverse working and tell me the normal sales figure the normal sales figure is how much 34350 okay 34350 now calculate gross profit in trading account 
टू ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट क्रेडिट साइड नॉर्मल कॉलम फर्स्ट यू ऐड नाइंटी वन फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस टू वन नाइन थ्री जीरो माइनस टू सिक्स फाइव एट जीरो माइनस सिक्स वन टू थ्री जीरो तो दैट इज टू फाइव सिक्स टू जीरो टू फाइव सिक्स टू जीरो एंड हियर यू लेवल लॉस सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस वन थाउजेंड एटी 480 loss. 480 loss, and then total column 25140, 25140. Take the total of all these column yourself and close. GP ratio. GP ratio. you will write down gp on normal sales divided by normal sales divided by normal sales equal to 25620 divided by Ninety one five hundred two five six two zero is normal GP. Sanket is right, Jayshree right, Sakshi right, Konal right. Divided by nine one five double zero into hundred. So that gives me normal GP ratio. That gives me normal GP ratio two five six two zero and divide by nine one five double zero. That is coming to twenty eight percent. Yes, some of you got it right. GP ratio is twenty eight percent. GP ratio is twenty eight percent. Now we'll come to next below. Two gross profit. Only normal column apply. Normal sales into twenty eight percent. Twenty eight percent into three four three five zero. So that comes to nine six one eight. Nine six one eight. Normal column GP is based on normal GP ratio. Normal column GP is based on normal GP ratio. Abnormal column will be calculated figure. One thousand fifty is there. Minus six hundred. One thousand fifty minus six hundred. That is four fifty. Four fifty and total GP. Add nine six one eight. One double zero six eight. Okay. Last part is closing stock now. So buy closing stock in the normal column. It will be a balancing figure. Abnormal column nil because it is sold. Abnormal is nil because abnormal stock is fully sold. It is given in the question. Abnormal stock is fully sold. so kindly tell me closing stock in normal column so take normal column debit side add 21930 plus 22410 and plus 9618 so this total is 53958 and minus 34350 One nine six zero eight. Very good. Total is one nine six zero eight. Take the total of all these columns and close them. Answer is not over because I have to calculate actual loss. This was the closing stock on the date of fire. Do not miss anything. Write neatly. This was the closing stock, nineteen 
600 it on the date of fire but there is some salvage also so write down next heading write down calculation of loss of stock <laughs> calculation of loss of stock chorasia is right calculation of loss of stock value of closing stock 19608 less salvage refer the question salvage value 3063 3063 so actual loss of stock therefore actual loss of stock is 16545 actual loss of stock is 16545 actual loss of stock is 16545 is right actual loss of stock is 16545 now what do you do write a note write a note below note the stock is fully insured against fire the stock is fully insured against fire write a note the stock is fully insured against fire therefore the loss will be allowed in full 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 this answer is over now we'll go to the next question farhan azam is right jay shri is right question number 4 all of you please come to question number 4 on 1st april 2006 the godown of hindustan limited Oh my god Hindustan Mera Hindustan destroyed by fire sorry this is only go down destroyed by fire i am sorry from the books of account the following particulars are gathered what is the date of fire 1st april Hindustan limited had an april fool on this date so last year and current year i will mark first you will also do the same thing this first january 2005 is last year stock as per balance sheet on 31st march this will be current year as well as last year purchase in 2005 last year current year purchase last year purchase current year purchase value of goods salvaged this will be required for actual loss understood till this point now next line is next line is goods of which original cost was 3600 had been valued at rupees 1500 on 31st december 2005 and these were sold in march 2006 for 2700 rupees same adjustment so i will have to tick mark three items tick mark this stock which has one abnormal and one normal the abnormal amount is 1500 which means the normal amount is write down in pencil 51120 minus 1500 that is 49620 49620 49620 
फोर नाइन सिक्स टू जीरो एंड दिस परचेज दिस परचेज ऑल्सो हैज वन एबनॉर्मल वन नॉर्मल ए फॉर एबनॉर्मल थ्री सिक्स डबल जीरो इज एबनॉर्मल कॉस्ट नॉर्मल विल बी टू सेवन वन डबल टू सेवन वन थ्री फाइव जीरो माइनस थ्री सिक्स डबल जीरो आई एम गेटिंग टू सिक्स डबल सेवन फाइव जीरो इफ देर इज अ क्लोजिंग स्टॉक देर मस्ट बी अ सोर्स द सोर्स कैन बी आईदर ओपनिंग स्टॉक और परचेजेस सो यू कैन एज्यूम परचेजेस एंड देन द सेल्स of current year 91500 has an abnormal item how much was that sale value 2700 91500 minus 2700 so normal sale is 88000 how much 800 88800 you are right if i can divide this figures into normal and abnormal while reading the question it becomes very easy and why it is abnormal because they are not at their normal costing the normal cost was uh 3600 but it was valued at 1500 rupees later on the same item was sold at 2700 thousand seven hundred rupees so this stock is moving separately only from other stock so you treat it as you purchase one stock for three six double zero it was first valued at fifteen hundred later on sold for two seven double zero so that stock is moving separately remaining stocks are at normal prices okay remaining stocks are at normal prices now i can go to the next part of this question except this transaction gross profit was uniform on 31st march 2006 goods worth rupees 15000 had been received by the godown keeper goods received so this is your godown the goods have come goods of 15000 rupees is lying in this godown goods have come but not entered in purchases so add in purchases go to your question again fourth line purchase figure is understated you have to add 15000 rupees to it because this 75000 does not include one purchases made one purchases made but not recorded so my actual purchase in the current year is 75000 plus 15000 90000 so this figure is actually 90000 because it is under reporting of purchase any query on reading the question now we'll go to last line calculate the value of goods destroyed by fire value of goods destroyed by fire will be closing stock minus salvage closing stock we have to find out salvage is given to you so my dear students this question also has one abnormal item which is valued below cost so therefore we are going to draw an abnormal column and solve this question very easily so are you ready for drawing this format say yes say we are ready and then we can solve this question very fast this question is similar to question number 3 no major difference except that there was one purchase transaction which was not recorded in purchase doesn't matter now record are you ready once you are ready with the format kindly inform me
please inform me that you are ready. Yes, come on, everybody, come on. Question is same. Today you will try to practice more and more questions. Try to practice more and more questions. So everybody is ready. I will solve it now. Question should be in front of you. And I have asked you to tick mark four items in your table which has got adjustment. Opening stock last year has no adjustment. So you will write to opening stock 27570. 27570. 27570. Then next item is closing stock, credit side, buy closing stock. This has one adjustment. First we'll write 51120. This has a stock of 1500 rupees, which is valued below cost. So that will come in abnormal column. And then we will write balancing figure in normal column, which is 49,620. Same thing you copy here to opening stock, closing stock of last year becomes opening stock of current year. Come to question book third line. Purchases during 2005. Trading account. Two purchases. Last column. 271.350. This has an abnormal item. This has an abnormal item given in the table, given in the sentence below table 3600. So treat this one item as abnormal. So therefore normal purchase in previous year was 267, 750, 267, 750. Fourth line of the question, current year purchases, two purchases. 75,000 is given and 15,000 is adjustment. Stock purchase but not recorded properly. So now we will record because the same stock is lying in the go down. If I don't add in purchases, I will not get the correct closing stock because that stock which was purchased and not recorded that was also lying in our closing stock on the date of fire. Is right? So purchases only I had to adjust, I have done. Now come to trading account, buy sales. This is normal. 3,51,000. 3,51,000. This does not have abnormal item. Now next is current year sale, buy sales current year, last column 30, 91, abnormal sale, second line below, these were sold in March 2006 for 2700, so the normal sale here balancing figure. 88,800. 88,800 is right. So now we will calculate gross profit in last year trading account gross profit. Gross profit in normal column. Come on. Gross profit in normal column 3,51,000 plus 49,620. Minus two seven five seven zero and minus two six seven seven five zero. 
so that comes to 1 lakh 5300 abnormal column will be 1500 minus 3600 2100 negative and total column 1 lakh 3200 is right first you check up to this you have understood everybody now write on gross profit ratio gross profit on normal sales upon normal sales gross profit is 1 lakh 5300 upon 3 lakh 51000 is 30 percent 30 percent kunal farhan is right now use this 30 percent multiply by 88800 so to gross profit in the current year 30 percent of normal 88800 how much is that 26640 you have to multiply this 88800 normal sale into GP ratio on normal sale. So that gives you 26640. Then abnormal column is balancing figure 1200. 26640 plus 1200. 27840. By closing stock, balancing figure, abnormal column is zero because it is sold. The whole opening stock in abnormal column has been sold, but normal column will have some closing stock. So who will give me the answer first? Let us check. First take total of debit side. 3 item 49 620 plus 90,000 plus 26640. So this comes to 166260 and minus 88800 is 77460. I am getting 77460 as a balancing figure here you also check are you getting 77460 closing stock as balancing figure check and tell me everybody will try keep the notes in front of you 77460 is right Pawar has got it Lucky Agarwal has got it but Farhan Azam is getting Farhan Azam is getting a different answer. Please change your calculator. Your calculator is too old now. It is not able to handle so much calculation. Farhan, there is a window outside. Throw it. Buy a new one. Jay Shri is right. Sakshi is right. Okay. So this is seventy-seven. 460 write down below write down below calculation of calculation of question was goods destroyed by fire calculation of value of goods destroyed by fire right hand side rupees first point a value of closing stock value of closing stock on the date of fire 
वैल्यू ऑफ क्लोजिंग स्टॉक ऑन द डेट ऑफ हर सेवन सेवन फोर सिक्स जीरो एंड पॉइंट बी लेस सेलवेज सिक्स थ्री डबल जीरो देर फोर गुड्स डिस्ट्रॉयड by fire a minus b this is the answer 77460 minus 71160 is the answer of this question most of you got it right those who have done please go to the next question now this answer is over so next question number 5 very easy 11 standard type question mr james submitted you the following information for the year ended 31st march 2006 this is for the year ended this year this is the year ending date this is opening stock of this year purchases manufacturing expense so this is a trading account item this is also trading account item this is also trading account item and this three are pnl account items this three are trading account items next three pnl account item selling expense administration expense financial charges and then sales is given to you where is the closing stock closing stock you have to find during the year damaged goods costing rupees 12000 were sold for rupees 5000 damaged goods costing rupees 12000 were sold for rupees 5000 so go to previous table where is damaged goods so either i can tick mark purchase or i can tick mark opening stock and tick mark sales so they include abnormal and normal this includes abnormal and normal abnormal purchase abnormal purchase is uh, you can say 10000 rupees so not 10 12000 rupees abnormal purchase will be 12000 rupees goods costing 12000 and abnormal sale 5000 abnormal sale 5000 so can you tell me normal purchase 4 lakh 37000 minus 12000 Four lakh twenty-five thousand. Four lakh twenty-five thousand. And normal sale would be six lakh twenty-five thousand minus five. Six lakh twenty thousand. Is it right? Kindly suggest. Is it right? Two items have abnormality: purchase and sales. so i will separate them from total purchase i will separate that purchase which was sold below the cost because that is abnormal pawar is right next is gp barring the above transaction means except this transaction gp ratio is 20% on sale so this is 20% on normal sale 
कैलकुलेट द नेट प्रॉफिट ऑफ मिस्टर जेम्स एड वन मोर क्वेश्चन कैलकुलेट द क्लोजिंग स्टॉक सेकेंड क्वेश्चन यू विल एड फ्रॉम माई साइड कैलकुलेट द क्लोजिंग स्टॉक कैलकुलेट द क्लोजिंग स्टॉक कैलकुलेट द क्लोजिंग स्टॉक राइट सो वट आई डू आई एल प्रिपेयर टू फॉर्मैट्स दिस क्वेश्चन डज नॉट हैव मेमोरेंडम ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट दिस होल क्वेश्चन is only for one accounting year and that is 2005 2006 and the objective of this question is just to find the closing stock so first what i will do trading account i will divide into three columns trading account i will divide into three columns trading account i will divide into three columns normal abnormal total and pnl account i don't need to divide into three columns pnl account i can work with one column only because in pnl account i just need to find out the net profit gross profit minus all indirect expenses gross profit minus indirect expenses is everybody ready is everybody ready once you are ready tell me then i will solve so most of you are ready two items have abnormal figures those will write in normal and abnormal column so you start with opening stock it does not have abnormal so normal is 1 lakh 50000 abnormal zero then we'll have to purchases total 4 lakh 37000 12000 is one item which was sold below the cost so that is an abnormal item remaining 425000 is normal purchase item manufacturing expense is a trading account item manufacturing expense how much is that 85000 85000 then selling expense pnl account debit side to selling expenses 33000 to administration expenses 2 to financial charges 6000 and by sales in the total column 625000 but there is an abnormal sale some goods were sold for just 5000 rupees whose cost was 12000 so this is abnormal sale not at normal pricing right and now we'll write down to gross profit gross profit on normal column 620000 into 20% 620000 into 20% is how much so that is 124000 
this time the GP ratio is given in problem for normal cell. 20% is given. Abnormal column you put it as a balancing figure. 7000 loss. So therefore 124000 minus 7000. 117000. 117 triple zero 1 lakh 17,000 and by closing stock in this normal column balancing figure abnormal column not there because it is sold so I will have to take my calculator add this normal column four items one lakh fifty thousand plus four lakh twenty five thousand plus eighty five thousand and plus one lakh twenty four thousand debit side total is seven lakh eighty four thousand here minus six lakh twenty thousand This opening stock is 15500, my mistake. 15500 is right, opening stock. So this total will be 784500. Closing stock is 164500. 164500. One sixty four five hundred Tanya Sakchi Sanket. Just please make one small correction. This was one fifty five hundred. I by mistake written one lakh fifty thousand. So because of that, this figure will also be one lakh sixty four five hundred. Now this is the gross profit of this company. One lakh seventeen thousand. I'll bring it here by gross profit brought down 1 lakh 17000 and then two net profit balancing figure 1 lakh 17000 minus 33000 minus 18000 minus 6000 so the answer is 60000 this was your question. This was your question. What is the net profit of the company? So the net profit is 60,000. And what is the closing stock? The closing stock is 164,500. The closing stock is 164,500. Right. So today we will stop here. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. All the best. Bye bye. Tomorrow you practice all these questions. Up to 19 you practice and come. Up to 19. You will try your best. If you are successful you will feel confident. Otherwise I am going to solve tomorrow remaining questions. Okay. Practice more and more questions of similar type and you will get confidence. So thank you and bye bye. Tomorrow there is a EIS revision batch on our YouTube channel at 10.30. EIS revision batch you can attend tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. in our YouTube channel. So I will expect that most of you should come and join. So this teacher faculty is Deepak Oswal sir and is really very very good. And you will be benefited from that. And you can download the notes also from the link provided to you. Thank you. See you tomorrow.